what's up welcome back to my channel today is an exciting video i bought a lot of perfumes blind buy i don't know what they smell like so i just wanted to share with you guys what i picked up at ross marshall's tj maxx a couple of fragrances from there and um just as a gift guide for you guys so when you guys are ready to pick out some gifts for the lovely lady in your life or whatnot um you'll know what to pick out in those stores very affordable you guys these perfumes were about i'm talking about less than 40 dollars okay a lot of the fragrances were in the 20 dollar range less than 20 bucks 30 dollar range less than 40 bucks i'm telling you guys so it's a great deal so i'm so excited to share with you guys everything that i got i got nine fragrances so you guys grab some popcorn okay chill have a snack and let's just get right into it i have this fragrance everyone was talking about it on the celebrity fragrances so i had to pick it up this was about 12 dollars 12.99 and this is gold rush by paris hilton you guys i took all the plastics off all the fragrances just for the sake of the video okay for the time but yeah i am so excited to open this up i've never smelled this except for one there's one fragrance that i did open and i used and i couldn't i couldn't wait and i'll let you know which one that was but this is what the box looks like how pretty it's so glittery and has a picture of press in the back so pretty so fancy love it so this is gold rush by paris hilton and I'm going to be looking down because I have my my iPod here to tell me all the notes and everything. So you guys will know what you're getting into when you are buying these fragrances. So this is what the bottle looks like. Super pretty. It's like a dress. It's gorgeous. I love it. So nice. Okay, so for Paris Hilton... In Fragrantica, they have the main accords is sweet, vanilla, latonic, powdery, and nutty. Okay. And then for the notes. So the top notes of this is a nectarine, lemon, bergamot, middle notes, orchid, violet, rose, petals, base notes, praline, vanilla, and cashmere wood. So that's what this smells like. I'm going to spray it here so we can smell it together and i will tell you if it's worth it for a celebrity fragrance okay this smells similar to something i actually already have hmm. this is very pretty very sophisticated you smell the praline in there the nectar The lemon, I do smell in this. Rose, I don't really smell rose too much in here. Orchid and violet, definitely. Um, cashmere, yes. Vanilla is very soft in here. It's lightly warm, and as it's drying down, it gets better when it dries down. I, I smells better to me than the initial spray oh this is really pretty i like this one for a celebrity fragrance this one smells really nice i like it i like it guys this one's a nice one i'm not gonna get too into all the fragrances since there is nine of them but i'm gonna tell you whether it's good or not this one's good this is good i don't know if i'm gonna reach for this all the time but it's it's really nice i like this one for the price amazing 12.99 come on that one's really nice it's soft it's lightly sophisticated 
for the price, it's great. I like it. So that's Gold Rush by Paris Hilton. So the next one we're gonna talk about is Mariah Carey Dream. This is another celebrity fragrance. And this is what the box looks like. This one was about, I believe, like about $16. Very cheap. Okay, so for Grantica, look how beautiful this bottle is. Oh my goodness. It kind of looks similar to the other one, like with those two standing next to each other. Gorgeous. Butterflies. I love the... The gold juice in the inside just like the other one how pretty this is so nice i like this the way it looks is so pretty so the main accords from mariah carey dream says vanilla sweet caramel fruity white floral almond floral powdery soft spicy okay and then the notes so the top notes is caramel candied apple almond star anias and this, it's like a fruit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Bergamot, okay. And then the middle notes is honeysuckle, lily of the valley, freesia. And then base notes, Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean musk, and patchouli. So this has Madagascar vanilla. I hope this doesn't smell like a bar of soap. Because I feel like Madagascar vanilla, I'm not too crazy about it. But let's smell this one let's see what this smells like i'm excited to see let's see Ooh. oh wait a minute oh i like this one i actually like this one better than the paris hilton one mm. Oh, that smells so nice. I like this one. Okay. Yeah. It's a sweet floral with a little bit of musk. It smells so good. I guess the, the caramel and the apple gives it that sweetness. And it's just a nice balance of floral and warmth. This one is so pretty. And then it has her signature right in the bottom. I, I don't know if you guys can see. You can't see that, but it's so pretty. Oh, I like this one. Oh, yeah. This one smells like a high-end perfume, actually. I like this one. You guys, Mariah Carey Dreams, get this one. This one's good. I gotta move on. <laughs> this one's really good. I like that one. That one I do like. So this one's a good one. Okay, next one I want to talk to you guys about, which is the one that I, I did open, okay, is Ariana Grande's Cloud. You guys, there's so much hype about this fragrance, and I've been wanting it for a while. I just didn't want to buy it, but I finally decided to buy it since i saw it in the store i was like you know what let me just go get it and you guys this is i use this one already it's good it's good let's open it so they compare this one to baccarat rouge by 40. um i feel like this one is like more of a sweeter softer version of baccarat baccarat is very strong and pungent and it's just very it's out there um this one's very soft, so, but it, you can get that vibe. So this is what it looks like. It's literally like sitting on a cloud, super cute. Take it out, that's what it looks like. It's just a plastic case that it sits in. It's adorable, okay? And um, this one was a little bit more pricier than those. This was like, I think $34. So this one's a little bit more because a lot of people really do like this one. For a celebrity fragrance so for ariana grande cloud uh the main accords is sweet latonic vanilla coconut and then the notes for these the top notes is lavender pear bergamot middle notes whipped cream praline coconut vanilla orchid and then the base notes is musk 
and woody notes you guys this one is a good one no doubt about it this is a complimented go-getter fragrance um everybody has this if you don't have it get it it's it's worth having it um in your collection for a celebrity fragrance it smells really really good um very sophisticated smelling you do smell the coconut in here it's very coconutty and musky It does have like some type of a creaminess to it, which is the whipped cream. It has a creaminess to the fragrance. It's very soft and girly. It's very nice. I think you can wear this all year round, I feel like. It smells really, really good. I like this one. This one's a definite um, purchase. So. I do recommend this one. This is very nice. If you don't know what to get someone, get someone this. This, I think they would like it. Um, it's definitely a compliment getter. And I don't know anybody that doesn't really like Ariana Grande Cloud. I'm always hearing about it. Everybody loves it. So I like it. So that's that. Okay. So. The next fragrance I want to share with you guys that I found was Calvin Klein. This is the Calvin Klein One Shock for Her. This one I've seen people talk about, but not as much as the For Him. Calvin Klein One Shock for Him. I've seen that. Um, that's been around for many years, actually. Sorry if you see, like, something here. That's from <laughs> makeup, okay? So, anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's been around for a very long time. A lot of guys do like that one. Um, for a very affordable fragrance, it smells pretty good. So this one, I saw this one and I was like, you know what? Because I got that one for my husband. So I, I said, let me try this one for myself. I, I don't know what it smells like at all. So let me show you what this comes. The way it comes, it has a the atomizer separate from the bottle. So this is the atomizer, and then this is what the bottle looks like. It's white glass, and let me just show you guys up close. It's very pretty. And then you're supposed to just remove this and then screw on the atomizer. Let me just do that right now. Okay. I'm not going to smell it, even though I'm tempted to. I'm not going to smell it. We're going to spray it together. So then that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, I'm not too crazy about the bottle. It's cute, but there's no top and that really irritates me because I have to have tops on all my perfumes, but it's okay. So, <laughs> so for Calvin Klein One Shock for her, main accords are sweet, fruity, vanilla, chocolate, interesting, floral, warm, spicy, powdery, and cacao, Okay. And then for the notes, top notes, passion flower, red poppy, peony, Mexican chocolate. That's different. Okay, Mexican chocolate. I don't have any perfumes that really have chocolate in them. I don't think so. Mexican chocolate, blackberry, narcissus, that's a flower. Um, jasmine, I hope I'm saying that right, though. but base notes is vanilla musk amber and patchouli so let's see what this smells like i got my little paper over here let's see mm. oh okay this is very floral and sweet I don't really get like a chocolatey scent with this, so that's interesting with the Mexican chocolate, but it's it's a little fresh for me, I feel like, which I do like fresh scents, but this smells like a summer scent for me, like summer, spring. It smells very nice, very girly. Somewhat generic. I feel like it's not like 
incredible. Yeah, it's a little bit of alcohol scent in the beginning, but it smells good. It's not my favorite. I'm going to tell you that. But it smells good and clean. Floral. I don't get the chocolate note in here. It's musky. Um, you smell the musk in here. But it's pretty. It's not, it's not a bad scent. It's really nice. It's simple. So like if you don't know what to wear, this will be like a out, out the door, put it on and you're, you're out to go. Like an everyday scent. It's not like crazy unique to me, but it smells really good. I'm not going to lie. It smells good. That's Calvin Klein One Shock. So this one's a nice one. It smells good. I like it. So I'm glad to have that in my collection as well. Okay, so the next fragrance I want to talk about is um, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. This one, I've seen everyone talk about this one as well uh, for affordable fragrances. They do sell this in Alta um, for very expensive. This was actually $34, I believe, in Burlington. Wait, did I buy this in Burlington? No. It was in Burlington. It was Ross. $34 in Ross. So, mind you, I don't know if I mentioned all the sizes of the fragrances. I'll let you guys know that at the end of the video for the size, how many ounces that each perfume was. But, um, majority of them were about like 1.7 ounces anyways. But I'll let you guys know at the end. So, for the Euphoria... I heard a lot of people talking about this, and I've been wanting to try this one for quite some time, actually. So, this is what the box looks like. Very simple. And then this is what the bottle looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how cute that is. And then it has the purple liquid in the inside. So, that's what that one looks like. So, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Main accords are woody, floral, powdery. Sweet, fruity, amber, musky, violet, fresh, spicy. Okay. And the notes for this one is, the top notes is pomegranate, permissum, green accord, middle notes, black orchid, lotus, champaka, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> it's a flower. Okay, and then the base notes, mahogany, amber, black violet, and whipped cream for this one. So, hmm. I wonder what this smells like. Okay, so let's, let's spray this one. Hmm. Ooh, that's strong. Okay, initial spray, let's see. Okay. Okay, it's a heavy on floral, very warm because of the mahogany. Lightly sweet yet tart, but the pomegranate makes it tart. It's lightly sweet. It's not like a really fruity sweet fragrance or anything like that. It's very floral, but it smells very good. It smells very sophisticated. It smells expensive. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like a nighttime fragrance for sure. Like, I wouldn't wear this during the daytime. I'll wear this if I'm going out on a date or like some type of a dinner, you know, late night. This is very heavy. So, it smells good. It's very sophisticated, very mature. This is a mature fragrance, definitely. Mm hmm this is a mature fragrance for sure yeah 
again, this, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. This kind of gives me a little bit of, let me see. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it reminds me of one of the Zara fragrances that I have, but it, no, it's, it's different. The other one that I have is way sweeter than this, so, but this one, it's nice. It's very sophisticated. It's grown. Um, it's sexy. I do want to say that, that this fragrance is a sexy fragrance. Um, and I like it. It's nice. So that one is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. So that's that. Now, here we go. Next fragrance we want to talk about is Couture Couture Juicy Couture, you guys. This one has been around for many, many, many years, okay? I used to wear this as a kid all the time. I, like I said before, I used to love mature fragrances as a young kid. I don't know why, it's just, I just did. And um, my dad used to buy this for me. Cause I used to ask for it all the time when they had it in Sephora. I used to be like, oh, "Daddy, I want this." You know, oh, is I love it. You sure? Yes, yes, I love it. And I used to wear it all the time, all the time, all the time. All right, it's been years since I've smelled this fragrance, but I remember me loving it so much. Remember it like clear. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I used to wear that. And then also, you know what made me buy it? Uh, here on YouTube, Chloe Yasmin, she loves this fragrance. She has like backups of this. And I remember I was watching one of her videos and I was like, wait a minute, I used to wear that all the time. And just the way she was talking about it and how much she loved it, I said, man, I need to try it again. So I got it. So this one, the main accords on Fragrantica is white floral, fruity, citrus, sweet, amber, and vanilla. And then let's see what the bottle looks like. From what I remember and what I looked at pictures was I remember having like the pink bow on it, even when it was this size. Maybe it's just too small, I don't know. Maybe they changed it, but it has like a little, looks like this, it has like a little cute little J charm for Juicy Couture. But it, it used to have like a pink ribbon around it, but it doesn't have it on it. But it's cute. It's still cute. It's still cute. Top notes for this one is African orange flower, mandarin orange, grapefruit. Middle notes for this one is plum, jasmine, and honeysuckle. And then the base notes is amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. So I can't wait to smell this one. It's been so long. And let's see. Let's see, guys. I remember loving this one. Oh, yes. Wow. That brings back so many memories. Mm. Mm hmm. You do get the mandarin orange in here. Oh, yes. That smells so good. It's like a soft floral. Okay, it's so sophisticated to me, in my opinion. I love this perfume. And as it dries down, it gets even better, I'm telling you. So, the amber, you do smell amber in here. It's funny because I don't like amber. I don't. And a lot of my perfumes have amber, and I love them. I, I guess my nose is changing here, but... Yes, this one, hmm. amber, the vanilla, the floral, it smells so sophisticated, very grown. It's a mature fragrance for sure. I don't know, a lot of people might not like this one. Out of the, you know, different Juicy Couture perfumes that they have there, like the Viva La Juicy, it's more like fruity, very juvenile, and um, it's not as mature as this one. This one's very mature. But it's not like mature to the point that it's like, ew, I can't wear this. It reminds me of like an old bar of soap or like, you know, <laughs> something like that. 
I always refer for like very mature fragrances as like a bar soap because there's a couple of fragrances that I have bought that were like super mature and it, was, it reminded me of soap. I just didn't. But this, ah, uh, mm hmm. This is good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite anymore. Definitely not. But it's really good and I will wear this. Um, I'm glad I got the smaller version. My scent changed. It's good. It's a good one. It's good. But I have a lot of other perfumes that I would probably choose way over this one. Um, but this one is very good. Um, it's a good gift to give to someone as well. So the next fragrance I want to talk about is this one, which I was actually surprised that I found this one because I usually see the white version of this one. This is the Oscar de la Renta Bella Essence. I've never seen this one. This is the gold one. How pretty is this? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The box, the packaging is gorgeous. And this one, oh, by the way, this one was about $16. So just to note that. This one was about, if I'm not mistaken, around $22 or something like that. Let's take this out. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, this one's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you imagine that just sitting on your perfume stand? Oh, I love this. And then the back is just, you see the liquid in there. But this is gorgeous. How cute is that? Okay, so Bella Essence. The main accords to this one is fruity, sweet, musky, vanilla, rose, amber, soft, spicy, citrus, powdery, and white floral. So the top notes for this one is raspberry, red currant, grapefruit. Middle notes, vanilla, jasmine, rose, base notes, ambroxan, musk, and patchouli. So I'm excited to smell this one. I heard a lot of good things about... Um, the Oscar de la Renta fragrances, that they're very floral though. Let's see, let's see how this one smells. This is gorgeous. I hope it smells as good as it looks, right? Let's see. Mm. Oh. Uh, wait. The initial spray, it smelled super nice, but Hold on. <clears throat> Let's let this dry a little bit. Okay. I wasn't sure what I was smelling. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. You smell that vanilla in here. Definitely, this is a vanilla floral. Jasmine. I smell the rose. But it's not a heavy rose. It's not like really thick with the rose. Oh, that smells good. Light with the patchouli and light with the musk. It smells really good. It's lightly fruity. It's not like crazy fruity. It's not super sweet, but this one smells good. I like this one. So far, I really like this one. Yeah. I could see myself wearing this one. This one's really pretty. I just can't get over how gorgeous this bottle is. Like... This will make a nice gift for someone. It's not offensive. It's very soft. It's lightly mature. It's not like overly mature. As it dries down, the vanilla is more softer, but you do get that patchouli in there. It's not bad.
very light with the raspberry. But this one's very good. I like it. It's really nice. Yeah. I like this one. Go get it. Oscar de la Renta. Very good. Okay, and now, next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is Banana Republic. I found this Banana Republic at Ross for about, this one was about 30 I think 35 or something like that and so this one's banana republic dark cherry and amber i heard that this one smells like baccarat rouge by 40 with a twist like with cherry a cherry note in there but it's not like identical to baccarat it's like it has that vibe of baccarat rouge by 40 in there i'm very interested to see what this smells like this box is very heavy and it has like a slit right here on the side that you can open it very fancy right look at that and this is what the bottle looks like it's a glass bottle oh, look how gorgeous this is very nice very nice and the top feels super heavy my goodness wow <laughs> okay, so for Dark Cherry here, we have the main accords is Floral, Sweet, Amber, Cherry, Woody, Nutty, Fruity, Fresh, Powdery, Almond. Interesting. Let's see. So the top notes for this is Sour Cherry, Pink Freesia, Middle Notes, Cherry Blossom and Praline, base notes red amber and cedar so it's not as complicated as the other ones this has less notes in it so let's see what this smells like oh my goodness mm. Ooh. wow why it smells like it has coconut in it wow this smells like coconut to me there's no coconut in here oh I love this yes oh when it says sap well wait 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 a minute <laughs> okay when it says sour cherry don't think of like a nasty sour spoiled fruit or anything like that Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I also heard that this is kind of unisex as well. So men could wear this as well. And I could see that. It's masculine. It's a little masculine. But sweet because of the cherry. Mm-hmm. I can see why they said... Baccarat Rouge 540. It has a little bit of that DNA, but if someone didn't tell me that it had like that type of DNA, I wouldn't really recognize it, to be honest. Now that I have it in my head, I can smell a little bit of Baccarat in there, just like very lightly. Like it's like to be in the family of it, but I wouldn't know, to be honest. But this smells so sophisticated, very nice, very expensive smelling. Doesn't smell like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I wouldn't call that a dupe at all. This smells so good. You smell the amber in this one though. I smell the amber, but I can, I can, I can dig it. I like it. Mm-hmm. But I can see this being a unisex. I can see my husband wearing this as well. This is definitely a winter fragrance, I say. You can wear it fall, winter. Yeah. I mean, you can wear this in the summertime, but like at nighttime. That's what I'm, that's what I, I would do, but. Yeah, this smells really nice. Mm-hmm. 
this is a really nice cherry fragrance i like it a lot um if you see this one get it um like i said it is a unisex fragrance so you can get it for your husband boyfriend whatever or get it for yourself this one's a very nice one i like it a lot this smells very expensive get this one very good okay last but not least is dot by mark jacobs look at this i found a mark jacobs fragrance at ross and this was about i believe i'm not sure if it was like 20 something or 30 something around that range but <clears throat> found this fragrance and i'm excited to see what it looks like okay so the perfume is like this and then the lid is down here. Let's clip it back on. And it looks like this. It has like a ladybug. Basically, it's supposed to look like a ladybug. How cute with a butterfly on top. So, for the Marc Jacobs, the main accord is fruity, white floral, tropical, sweet, fresh coconut vanilla. And the top notes for this is red berries, dragon fruit, honeysuckle, middle notes, coconut, jasmine, orange blossom, and then the base notes, driftwood, musk, and vanilla. This is such a cute little bottle. I love it. So let's see what this smells like. This looks more like a spring, summer, Mmm. <clears throat> I sprayed too much. <clears throat> this one's strong. Mm hmm I was right. Definitely a spring summer scent. It smells really good. You smell the orange blossom, the musk, the berries. It's fruity. It's a fruity floral. Nothing unique for me. It's not like a wow fragrance. Um, that musk, it's okay. I'm not too crazy about the musk in here. It's all right. I mean, it's not bad, but definitely spring and summer. It's okay. I'm not too crazy about it. I'm not too crazy about it. It's not bad, but I'm not too crazy about it. But that's Marc Jacobs Dot. It's very nice. Anybody could wear this one for sure. It's nice. Um, it's very pretty. But, yep, that was that. That's the last uh, perfume that I purchased. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's very long, but if you guys liked this video and liked videos like this with blind buy purchases, please let me know. Leave a comment down below of a fragrance that you're curious about that you want me to try for you so you don't have to waste your money. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'll be gladly to buy it and review it for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day night and i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving also um like i said before all these fragrances were about one fluid ounce um the the biggest fragrance that i got in was about what 2.5 which that was the banana republic but everything else was like 1.7 fluid ounce so and uh, oh matter of fact this one's a 3.3 this is a full size but everything else wasn't full size they were like a smaller version of their um perfume but anyway yes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving and i hope you guys have a wonderful day night wherever you guys are and i will see you guys in another one bye